Grey Wolf versus Wolverine. Who would win in a fight? Both Grey Wolf and Wolverine are similar looking species, and it would be difficult to know who will win the fight between a Wolverine and a Grey Wolf. A Wolverine is smaller in size in comparison to a wolf, and many people are favoring it, and some are still with the Wolverine. The larger mammal will prey on the smaller, but Wolverines prefer areas occupied by wolves over areas that aren't. The Grey Wolf, also known as the Timber Wolf, is the largest of the wild dog family. Grey Wolves were once in abundance and distributed over North America, Eurasia and the Middle East. However, because of human-related activities such as destruction of habitat and excessive hunting, Grey Wolves now only occupy a fraction of their former range. Due to its close resemblance to the bear and the wolf, a wolverine is often incorrectly thought to belong to the same family as the wolf. A wolverine belongs to the weasel family, and it is known to be the largest among the land-dwelling species of that family. It is sometimes called a glutton or skunk bear, and has close resemblance to a small bear. Size and Description Keen senses, large canine teeth, powerful jaws, and the ability to pursue prey at 37 miles per hour equip the grey wolf well for a predatory way of life. A typical northern male may be about 6.6 .6 feet long, including the bushy half-meter long tail. Standing 30 inches tall at the shoulder, it weighs about 100 pounds, but weight ranges from 31 to 143 pounds, depending on the geographic area. Females average about 20% smaller than males. Fur on the upper body, though usually grey, may be brown, reddish, black or whitish, while the underparts and legs are usually yellow-white. Light-coloured wolves are common in Arctic regions. A wolverine resembles a small, squat, broad bear, 26 to 36 inches long, excluding the bushy 5 to 10 inch tail. Shoulder height is 14 to 18 inches, and weight is 20 to 26 pounds. The legs are short, somewhat bowed. The soles, hairy. The semi-retractable claws, long and sharp. The ears, short and the teeth strong. The coarse, long-haired coat is blackish-brown with a light brown stripe extending from each side of the neck along the body to the base of the tail. The animal has anal glands that secrete an unpleasant-smelling fluid. Range and Habitat The historic range of the grey wolf covered over two-thirds of the United States. Today, grey wolves have populations in Alaska, northern Michigan, northern Wisconsin, western Montana, northern Idaho, northeast Oregon, and the Yellowstone area of Wyoming. Mexican wolves, a subspecies of the grey wolf, were reintroduced to protected parkland in eastern Arizona and southwest New Mexico. Wolves can thrive in a diversity of habitats, from the tundra to woodlands, forests, grasslands and deserts. Wolverines are found across the northern hemisphere in Arctic and subarctic regions. They are most common in Alaska, northern Canada, Fenescandia, Siberia, other areas of Russia, Mongolia and China. In recent times, they have been found as far south as the northern United States. Some individuals have been spotted in Michigan, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Oregon, Washington, and California. These mammals are kings of the cold. They are found in Arctic tundras, alpine regions, and boreal forests in the Northern Hemisphere. These animals are frequently found in rocky and mountainous regions, and they are very skilled climbers. Some individuals have been spotted farther south in subarctic regions. Diet Wolves are carnivores. 
They prefer to eat large hoofed mammals, such as deer, elk, bison, and moose. They also hunt smaller mammals such as beavers, rodents, and hares. Adults can eat 20 pounds of meat in a single meal. Wolves can go longer than a week without eating, with one known case of a wolf surviving for 17 days without food. Their canines, or fangs, measure around two and a half inches long, and they also have large molars for crushing and grinding bones. Wolverines eat bird eggs, berries, and any animal they can kill. If live prey is unavailable, they will feed up on carrion. This aggressive scavenger will challenge cougars and wolves for their prey. It has also been known to kill prey as large as a moose. Wolverines have a keen sense of smell. They can smell prey 20 feet under the snow. They will dig down into burrows and kill hibernating animals. They have strong jaws and teeth and can crush a carcass and munch right through the bone. They have been known to eat the bones and teeth of their prey. Behavior Grey wolves live in packs which have complex social structures that include the breeding adult pair, the alpha male and female, and their offspring. Wolves communicate through body language, scent marking, barking, growling, and howling. Much of their communication is about reinforcing the social hierarchy of the pack. When a wolf wants to show that it is submissive to another wolf, it will crouch, whimper, tuck in its tail, lick the other wolf's mouth, or roll over on its back. When a wolf wants to challenge another wolf, it will growl or lay its ears back on its head. A playful wolf dances and bows. Barking is used as a warning, and howling is for long-distance communication to pull a pack back together and to keep strangers away. The wolverine is a solitary animal who usually travels alone except for the breeding season. Individual wolverines may travel 15 miles in a day in search of food. They are nocturnal animals that do not hibernate. The wolverine is basically a terrestrial animal, however they are very good at climbing trees and are also powerful swimmers. Male wolverines use scent glands to mark their territories, however, they share them with several females and are believed to be polygamous. This requirement for large territories brings wolverines into conflict with human development. Who will win the fight? Many people want to find out who will win the fight between a grey wolf and a wolverine. A wolverine is a very fierce animal with a reputation for ferocity and strength that is not proportional to its size. A wolverine is armed with strong jaws and powerful claws through which they can kill even larger prey. On the other hand, the grey wolf is bigger but its disadvantage is that it lives in a pack. And why is this a disadvantage? Because I tend to believe that the wolf is accustomed to being always supported by his teammates. So, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, my vote goes to the wolverine because of its ability to suffocate the larger prey. I have read stories of wolverines in which a wolverine killed a bear. So it is not difficult for a wolverine to kill a grey wolf. Although, a grey wolf is larger in size, but still a wolverine would win the fight. Now I'm waiting for your opinion. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.